What's going on, Soul Nation? Ginger Prime here, and this is insane. If you thought that Microsoft was just tiptoeing around this concept of Game Pass, uh, look no further than today's announcement. And whether or not you like EA, whether or not you actually actively play their games, let me tell you, this is by far one of the most massive announcements to be added to Game Pass Ultimate for PC, Xbox, Xbox Series X, pretty much the family if it runs in Microsoft's ecosystem. EA is now actually a part of it. Coming holiday 2020, EA Play is being added to Game Pass Ultimate. This is so insane in my mind. I can't even fathom how this deal came about because you might be asking yourself, what the hell is EA Play? Well, previously it's been known by EA Origin Access, EA Premier, like all of these different services that uh, these companies have been making. It appears all of that's being conglomerated up by the mass of Microsoft and thus making Game Pass Ultimate an even bigger deal than it already was. Now, Microsoft recently announced over 10 million subscribers to the service and for no additional cost, now all those subscribers get EA Access. We're talking Madden, FIFA, we're talking Star Wars, we're talking Titanfall. Titanfall 2 is, an, is a phenomenal game. And if you haven't had the time to play it, hopefully if you do have Game Pass, you take the time to play Titanfall 2. Uh, incredible. We're all waiting for Titanfall 3. And I expect that to kind of come sometime with the next generation, especially with the success of Apex Legends, another EA title. Uh, I've obviously been very excited and looking uh, more forward uh, to Star Wars, the Squadrons game uh, that's set to come out in October. Now, there's so much detail in here. I'm going to go over this full article with you, hopefully help answer any of your questions about why this is a big deal. Again, I mean, we could always be like boo EA, but this is just more content, more games. Uh, and especially with like properties like Madden, even though they've been having issues recently, FIFA as well. These are massive franchises and should not be like this should not be written off. Honestly, I don't know how you justify not being subscribed to the service. And I'm not sponsored in any way by Microsoft. I pay my service fee like the rest of us. So let's go ahead and dive in the article. I'm very curious as to your thoughts, whether you feel like this is a massive uh, shift, uh, power grab, obviously coming off the heels. Man, there's so much to talk about today. Um, like with the fact that they confirmed the $4.99 price for the Series X. Pre-orders go live on the 22nd of September. Uh, I posted that over on our community page. So if you're not following the channel and you want little updates like that, be sure to hit subscribe if you feel like we, we earn it with this video. Anyway, let's go ahead and dive in. I keep, there's just so much to process here. Uh, when we created the Xbox Game Pass, we did so, the, I said, <laughs> the Xbox Game Pass. Uh, we did so with the vision of bringing you more great games to discover and play with your friends. Over the last three years, we've delivered on that vision by bringing more content to our 10 million subscribers. You know, that's a flex there. Uh, but we've expanded the service to reach more people wherever they play across devices. And in 2019, they introduced Game Pass Ultimate for PC. And last month, they shared Ultimate members uh, can play more than over 100 games from the cloud. So that's a part of Game Pass Ultimate that launches here, I think, in a couple of days now. On, and also Destiny, guys. Destiny 2 dropping into Game Pass here in a couple of days. Um, anyway, so that's kicks off on September 15th. Today, we're excited to announce the next step in this journey, and they're teaming up with EA to provide Xbox Game Pass Ultimate to PC members with an EA Play membership at no additional cost starting this holiday. That means Ultimate members can enjoy EA Play on Xbox One and their whole family of devices. Now, formerly known as EA Access and Origin Access, EA Play will bring the best of EA Game Pass, including over 60 of EA's biggest console and PC games like FIFA, Titanfall 2, Need for Speed Heat, as well as titles from EA's most popular franchises, Battlefield, Mass Effect, which is rumored that we're going to get an announcement for the remake or remaster here in October. And personally speaking, for whatever reason, at the time, I never ended up playing 2 and 3. And it's like to the point where I'm embarrassed by that fact as a gamer. And I'm hoping that with the, the remake or remaster that's rumored to be happening pretty soon, uh, that I'm finally going to be able to rectify that. I'll probably play through the whole thing. Um, and on this, you know, anyway, warning alert, you might see some live streams with that. So exclusive in-game challenges and rewards, special monthly only content, discounts on DEA digital purchases for DLC games and more. They also have access to trial games for up to 10 hours, the most blessed, uh, beloved franchises, the top titles. So that's the current Madden, the current NFL, the current FIFA. Uh, so that's always on that year, which honestly, if we just take an aside here to kind of talk about it, uh, the fact that they sell those games for $60 or more 
is a complete ripoff, uh, in my opinion. I honestly think you only really buy one of those games once a year. I cannot, in my mind, like, I, I get the money side of it, but I'm just so surprised those haven't fully shifted to the games as a service model, namely because every year it's just like, like a couple of things that could easily be, like, updated as a part of that model. Anyway, it is what it is. But the previous versions, Madden 20, uh, NFL 20, FIFA 20, those should all be included as a part of this uh, as well. And think Sims. Sims is such a huge franchise. I haven't played a Sims game in a while. Guess what I'm going to be playing? I'm going to I'm going to play The Sims. I haven't I have not purchased a Sims game. I think the last one I actively played and bought was 3, and they might even still be on 3. That's how long it's been. Uh, anyway, uh, not only will EA Play titles be available on console and PC this holiday, some of the best EA Play games will also be available for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members and to play on their Android device via the cloud. So you can cloud stream these games as well. Uh, since they launched Game Pass, they've shared that it creates amazing experiences for you and your communities. Together, they have seen it amplify the power of gaming to unlock the discovery of new adventures and bring fun and enjoyment to this day. Now, they make it possible to connect from afar, and if you haven't tried Xbox Game Pass yet, you can join the community for just a dollar for your first month. EA Play will be uh, be bringing the best of EVA to Game Pass across all devices, so there's no better time to jump into the Game Pass experience, and you can learn more via the link itself. So this is insanity when we talk about it, because next, the, the, this leads to the next question, what the hell are they going to announce next? Because I think EA in and of itself is a massive uh, you know, IP acquisition in terms of adding it to the service. Obviously, games come in, come out, but they are, with Game Pass building, the Netflix of games and allowing you to play it across multiple devices, play it where you are. The one weakness that Xbox, uh, like cloud gaming has right now, is that I can only play it on, on my Android, I don't, you know, and this is actually not even my phone. It's a development phone that I use for programming, but it runs Android, so I can actually run xCloud on it. Now, ideally, we'll see xCloud come to where you can play it on PC and then even stream it from the new consoles. And I have a theory, uh, I've been having this theory for years now, and just to share it with you, whether I'm right or wrong, we'll find out soon enough. Uh, ultimately, when you look at the core uh, aspect of the uh, Series S, with 512 gigs of, of hard drive space, it doesn't feel like enough, but only kind of really focusing on kind of that 1080 or the 1440p resolution, not really 4K approach. I think that's the hard drive size is obviously too small, but we're hearing that you'll be able to actually stream games and maybe the Series S and Series X our architect, uh, you know, differently to help kind of uh, improve the experience of cloud gaming across those two devices. I know that I, as a fan of cloud gaming, uh, I really enjoy the aspect. I enjoy the fact that, it, you know, the battery life increase on my laptop, the not heating up on my laptop, so many aspects that there are definitely perks. And while it's not going to, you know, I'm not sitting here saying like, yeah, consoles are gone forever. Um, no, by no means, but I love that the flexibility and the ease of use. And so that's one of the things I'm going to be looking at both the PS5 and the series, uh, you know, X or S for in terms of that. Is it easy to jump into these games uh, and how quick is that? I think one of the things that, and I'm going to, I was working on a, <laughs> an Avengers review for you guys today. Uh, we'll probably push that back a little bit depending, because especially if we see, we're supposed to get the PS5 uh, prices today, we'll see. Um, so I might just continue to work on that review itself. But one of the things that I do enjoy about Stadia over the other platforms is its speed to load in games. Uh, when you look at that versus the Xbox or the PlayStation, it's, it is night and day. And I cannot wait for people to experience Series S and PS5 for just the loading times itself. It is, I think, almost the thing where it, it becomes difficult to step back in time uh, for the Xbox and the, play, the PlayStation, whether you're on a Pro or even an Xbox One X. It is that different. Uh, even on a PC with SSD, it still beats it. So I'm really excited for the next generation consoles and for everybody to get their hands on with them because I think what one of the, it's going to be weird. Like usually we look at graphics or the fidelity or like all these different things in terms of what defines that generation and why it needed to exist in the first place. And I think what one of the things that people will uh, not appreciate going into it, but will have a hard time leaving it uh, is just the speed of load times, that reduction or removal and fast resume. It's going to be massive. Um, but yeah, guys, what do you guys think about Game Pass and EA? And then who else are they going to get? Like this is big enough to where Microsoft in the past has said that they are not going to acquire EA because there's rumor. There's always rumors within the industry. But this did. This is almost the same thing without them actually having to acquire them and all their other projects they're working on, but having access to those games itself. I'm wondering 
what this will do for Game Pass because I, if anybody asked me what you want for, like <laughs> if I was gonna give somebody a gift for Christmas, it would be like, here's a year of Game Pass. Like here is a year of that. And hopefully we start to see them bundle these things up and be able to make it a little bit easier to give that as a gift. Um, yeah, I think that's that's the gift that you could be like, <laughs> What, what do you like to play? Where, where do you like to play? Are, are you a fallen away gamer? It doesn't matter. Here's Game Pass. Go nuts. Have fun. Like this is an insane service. Anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Looking forward to having that conversation with you. But for Ginger Prime, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in my next video. But until then, take care. This video is sponsored by me, Ginger Prime. Hopefully you'll check out my podcast channel, Ginger Gaming Radio, which we have lots of guests, lots of great conversations, and even more highlights. Links are in the description below. Let me know what you think. Thanks.